Hello boys and girls of grade 4. How are you all? Welcome to the channel Maths by Sana. Today I am going to discuss chapter 9 which is shapes, patterns and nets. In that first topic is lines and shapes. Second topic is polygons. Third topic is types of polygons and line segments also we are going to discuss. Okay. Now without further delay shall we start the session. The first concept is lines and shapes how do we draw lines it is either with the help of straight lines or with the help of curved lines both types is with the help of both types that is straight and curved lines we draw shapes with the help of these lines only we draw any shape that can be an, a polygon or a open shape close shape whatever it may be with the help of either straight lines or curved lines only we draw the no see we have many directions while, right, while drawing straight lines. We can draw in many directions. You know, that is with the help of horizontal line, with the help of vertical line, with the help of standing line, slanting line. This slanting line is diagonal line in our shapes. With the help of these lines, we draw shapes. That shapes can be either open shapes or closed shapes. We call closed shapes as closed curves also. No? See the examples they have given here. Open shapes and closed shapes. And open shapes we are starting at some point and we are ending it at some other point. We are not going to join the starting and ending points. That is called open shape. See, see the first example there. They drew three sides and they didn't join the starting and ending points. They left the fourth side empty. So it's an open space second example also inverted u they have drawn and that also is not a closed shape because starting point and ending point is different instead of one point now let's move on to closed shapes when starting point and ending point meet we say that shape as closed shape see the example of rectangle this is with the help of straight lines we draw and the second one is circle with the help of closed lines curved lines we do that and the third one is hexagon with the help of straight lines we drew that like that if a starting point and ending point is same then we say that shape as closed shape like i said earlier closed shapes are also called as closed curves now let's see in this closed curves also we have two types that is simple closed curves not simple closed curves Simple closed curves means a closed shape that doesn't cross itself. If the shape doesn't cross itself, we call that as simple closed curve. Example of this is a circle. Okay. Example of that is a circle, rectangle, rectangle, triangle, whatever it is. All these are closed shapes only. These are simple closed curves or simple closed shapes okay now let's see not simple closed curves the example of not simple closed curve is default easily we can say that as 9 because 8 is crossing itself now at one type one point without a circle see it started like yes and then on top of that only it crosses to jo start, join the starting point so that is not a simple closed curve now you understood the difference between simple closed and not simple closed let's move on to the second topic that is polygons polygons some closed shapes are for, formed only with straight lines they are called polygon see when we are drawing closed shapes with the help of straight lines only we are drawing that if you are drawing that shapes with the help of straight lines then we say that shapes as polygons even though the circle semicircle what are the different types are there no that and all are also closed shapes only but they doesn't belongs to polygons because with the help of curved lines we are drawing that shapes even though those are closed shapes we don't consider them as polygons polygons means with the help of straight lines only we should draw okay see the examples they have given there triangle trapezoid square 
triangle again these are all polygons because with the help of horizontal line vertical line and slanting line they drew these shapes these closed shapes that's the reason we are saying that particular shapes as polygons okay now let's move on to types of polygons how many types of polygons are there based on the number of sides it has got we name it particularly see a polygon with three line segments is called a triangle what is this line segment here the line segment means straight line only a polygon with three line segments or three straight lines is called a triangle triangle has got three sides so that three sides we are saying it as three line segments now a polygon with four line segments is called a quadrilateral see there instead of saying four line segments instead of saying it is a rectangle or square like that we are saying it as a quadrilateral what is the reason behind that the reason behind that is in four line segments we have many shapes that is the first one is rectangle second one is square third one is trapezoid fourth one is rhombus fifth one is parallelogram like that n number of i mean so many shapes are there with four lines of segments so we are saying that as a quadrilateral instead of calling it particularly with one shape okay a polygon with four line segments is called a quadrilateral only a polygon with four line segments is called a well called a quadrilateral that's what we say here but for remaining all line of seg line segments we say that as with that particular name only just now i explained the reason behind that no see the rectangle is a special quadrilateral in which opposite sides are equal or of equal length rectangle is a special quadrilateral what is the reason behind that the opposite sides are equal for it two sides are equal no and the other two sides are equal now a square also is a special rectangle in which all four sides are equal right now let me tell you few more examples a polygon with five line segments is called a what it's a pentagon a polygon with six line segments or six straight lines is called a hexagon a polygon with seven line segments or seven straight lines is called a heptagon a polygon with eight line segments or eight straight lines is called a octagon a polygon with nine line segments or nine straight lines is called a nonagon a polygon with 10 line segments or 10 straight lines is called a decagon so you understood how we are going to write the names of that particular polygon no how many line segments are there and what name we are using for that polygon understood so all the shapes with a help of straight lines we drew that shape we call it as polygons with the help of straight lines if drew, if we drew a shape then we say that shape as a polygon clear now let's discuss exercise 9a see the first question take the word india label it to show one of each vertical line horizontal line slanting line curved line closed shape and open shape now see i i is a vertical line no now n even though n is with the help of line segments i mean with the help of straight lines we draw it is not a closed shape it is an open shape right and third one d letter d is a closed shape right letter d is a closed shape and with the help of vertical line and with the help of curved line we written that and see here n is a open shape but with the help of 
straight lines that means vertical lines and with the help of slanting lines we draw that letter now again i i is a vertical line now let's move on to letter a letter a with the help of slanting lines and with the help of horizontal line we draw the shape now see we used every line no vertical line we used in i n d i horizontal line we used in letter a slanting line we used in letter n curved line we used in letter d close shape we say d as a close shape and open shape n is an open shape because start n started somewhere and ended somewhere and it is not is a close shape okay see the second one tick the simple closed curves what are simple closed curves here a is not a simple closed curve because it is crossing itself b is a simple closed curve c is a simple closed curve but d is not even though it is it is drawn with the help of straight lines and the starting and ending points are not same so it's not a simple closed curve and e e is a star it is crossing itself now many times so that is not a simple closed curve so what are the simple closed curves here option b and option c alone are simple closed curves now let's move on to third question tick simple closed curves that are polygons see simple closed curves that are polygons means what if we draw a shape with the help of straight lines we say we say that shape as polygon no now see first one how many sides are there five sides so what is it called it is called a pentagon the pentagon is a polygon only you no know? this is a closed curve with the help of straight lines we do that and it is a simple closed and the second one it is a inverted trapezoid okay here also this is also a simple closed curve that are polygons and see the sub third option it is a closed curve only but that is not a polygon fourth one also oval is not a polygon no and fifth one e also this is some shape but that is not a polygon because three sides they drew with straight lines but the fourth side is not so the simple closed curves with that are polygons are a and b pentagon and pentagon and trapezoid question earlier that shapes were open shapes now i drew i completed that shapes as closed shapes because to satisfy this condition they are asking you to make a closed shape that is a polygon in first one that is a not a polygon in second option okay a is make one a closed shape that is a polygon to make this open shape as closed shape that is a polygon i have taken the help of sleeping line and standing line there horizontal line and vertical line i drew and completed that shape now this is a polygon because all sides with the help of straight lines only we completed that shape as closed shape this see the second one that was also a open shape earlier now they are asking you to make that as a closed shape that is not a polygon see here i drew the shape as closed i mean with the help of curved line i completed that shape so this is not a polygon since there we have used curved curved line to make that shape as closed shape okay now you understood closed curves open curves polygons shapes and line segments particularly how many line segment has got what particular polygon name all these we saw in this video no in the next video we are going to discuss about circle parts of circle and then we are going to find radius diameter and all